Okay, somehow I got kicked off, so I just went outside and I spray painted this. And I realized now why I don't fill them first and then spray paint them. Because if it has any leaks, it will affect your spray paint. So um, I kind of botched this one a little bit. It'll be all right, though. Because um, I'm just going to pick off the decals once the spray paint's dry and good to go. But I told you I would show you how I seal them um, after we have it all together. I just wanted to do this one, I guess. And we have some leakage here from that one, which is fine because you're just going to take a little bit of your silicone and do that. But I'll worry about that leak after I seal this. You okay, Lib? Okay, so all you do to seal the bottom part is you want to dry this out. Okay, I'm going to dump some more glitter in. Um, and there's this little tiny ridge right here. Hi. Sorry, I, I got kicked off for some reason. I don't know what happened, but I decided to plug my phone in, so I had to rearrange stuff. So anyhow, you just take your silicone and you squirt it heavily in that ridge. It's in there. As long as your silicone's working for you. See, this is what I do. I forget about things and I let it sit there. Um, you just squirt your little bead in there. Somebody had said something about... Uh, getting O-rings or something, I guess you could, but I feel like silicone is a more permanent solution than an O-ring. Um, I have a gob here I gotta get off. So, pretty too much to do that. And of course I have puzzle pieces mixed in there. So it's nice and gross and gooey looking. So that's how you know you're good to go. Um, like I said, I'm gonna add some more. Apparently Blaze is just gonna be very, very vocal today. That's not even a real crime. That's something that's making her angry. Looks like I'll be needing some more puzzle pieces again. But we're just going to try and get to the screw part so that we're not getting a whole bunch of puzzle pieces mixed in there. You can tap it down if you need to. All you do, actually this ridge has some dribbles on it. You're going to want to do that. Wipe it clean too. It's a what? Oh, slime. Yeah. Anyhow, Mama, we're going to put this on. And then, technically, this shouldn't be flipped because it isn't water ready for 30 minutes, so you just want to tighten it down and wipe off the excess and go from there. Just set a timer on your phone or whatever, go find something else to do, and then we're going to fix these little leaks that are at the bottom. What I do is I'll take a dry erase marker type thing and make a mark where it's happening on the stainless steel. Like I'll do a mark on either side so I know like where it is. And like I said, you just take a rubber glove finger and swipe some more silicone across. But then you want to make sure it doesn't continually seep water while that's setting up. So that one's that. And I'm not going to bore you by picking decals off um i can do a thing on the stick tight and quick coat another time just because i apparently need to uh, tend to the children but it's really simple do you guys want to see that or no nobody's saying anything <laughs> let me see i think my jack one's ready to go pretty much i'm just gonna either stop my video or keep working regardless I gotta get this stuff done okay well sure we'll do this then all right so I need a little bowl and a big bowl and the big bowl you're just gonna want to put water in it and at this point you want to make sure that this is okay it doesn't have any water dripping down it or anything like that um, it's gonna be easier for me to put it on a football though do that and all you do is the stick tight is your cleaning thing so you just do a little bit in there and we have water and then you take they call them chip brushes or whatever I don't know they're just the really cheap paint brushes and you want to take your stick tight and clean it Oh, the liquid that I put in the cup is a mix of glycerin and water. 
it's like one to one parts. So the first round I do 30 and 30. And then um, after that, I just do a little bit as I need to until it's full. So this is the stick type. You're gonna work over your bowl of water. And pretty much it's a friendly cleaner for your cup. Like any kind of oils or whatever that might've been on your hands, you wanna make sure that you clean it off. But then at the same time, you don't want it to get dry. It's nice and soaky and bubbly. Don't forget the bottom because you're gonna coat the bottom too unless you decide to tape it off or whatever. And then once you have the whole thing like scrubbed over, this stuff is supposed to help with like fish eyes. So if you're doing chunky glitter cups or something like that, it's supposed to be really good for that. Um, then you take your brush and dip it in the water and you clean it off. And that's pretty much it for this stick tight stuff. Like I said, I had to watch a video because I'm like, I have no idea what, it, what that is. Like, what do you do with that? But if it works, then rock on. If not, it'll be okay. I'll just babysit my cups. So at this point, it's been cleaned. And you're just gonna wanna set this off to the side. Your bowl of water, you're done with for now. Let me get a glove. They say that you're supposed to use a lint-free cloth. I don't have lint-free cloths, so I just use paper towels. As long as they're the better paper towels, it'll be okay, as far as I'm concerned, because um, I've had some issues with cheap paper towels, but you just dry it off with a lint-free towel, and then I'm going to try this without the brush. The last time I used another one of these chip brushes or whatever, just the cheap ones, and um, it kind of was meh. And I don't like that I can see all the brush strokes, but maybe, maybe that's something that this will fix. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the quick coat in here. I don't know honestly how much it'll take. I should probably put a paper towel down though so I don't like trash my table any more than I already have. So you just take it and coat it on. Now you're gonna need a hairdryer. I was gonna use my heat gun. I'm like, no, they said hairdryer, I'll use a hairdryer. So you're just gonna, it pretty much puts like a protective layer over the whole cup that I think is not gonna be like rejected. I don't know, it's pretty fancy stuff. So I like this better. You coat it two times with the quick coat stuff because you're, what you want it to do is you wanna get it dry, but you're gonna need your hair dryer to help force it to get dry. I don't know how long it would take to get dry otherwise. Don't forget the bottom. These bottoms are weird because they have like a foam thingy on them. So whatever, it'll be all right. So I'm almost ready to use my hair dryer. And what's gonna happen is when you heat it up, you're gonna notice that it's gonna try and repel it. At this point, you need to melt it and smear it back together so that it doesn't repel it and it creates an even layer over the whole cup. See like down here, it's already starting to repel. So we just go over it with a finger and then let me get my hair dryer. And earlier, I was doing it with it like under my arm. Again, this would be easier if you have it set up on a turner or something like that, but for the sake of demos, I'm just doing it like this. I'm just gonna keep making sure that it's stretching out over it. so that it's not gonna repel the epoxy. Ah, I have a piece of glitter stuck there. There you go. And once you get it to the point where it's kind of not, not moving on you anymore, then you can just go ahead and put it with regular heat from your hair dryer. And if for some reason it doesn't have full coverage in some areas, that's okay because you're going to do this a second time. And that's pretty much the point of this. I did the quick coat two times and I'm going to epoxy it and hopefully it'll all go good. You can take your leftover because I didn't contaminate it with a brush or anything and pour it back in the bottle and a little bit goes a long way because I barely put anything in that cup to begin with. So it's almost to the point where it's dry that I can put another layer on, but I don't want to like force it or anything. Hi there, I am making peekaboo storyboard tumblers as my children make lots of noise in the background. <laughs> um, 
I was just showing how I use stick tight and quick coat to hopefully make the epoxy like my cup better um, so that we don't have any major issues with it repelling stuff. Um, I think that's pretty much all I got for you as I just have to do more decals and spray painting and more filling of cups and coating of cups. But, oh, maybe I shouldn't have sat that down. Oopsies. But anyhow, so you wait for this to dry. You can keep hitting it with your hair dryer if you want. And then you do another coat of the quick coat and then it's ready for epoxy once that's all dry. And um, actually this one's dry enough. I'll switch that. Let's see if I can. Oh, and I totally forgot to tape the ed ed edges, the ends or the edges on this one. So I'm gonna just have to take acetone to it then. But just so you can see what it looks like, start picking it. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. And then if you wanted to, you could even like take some alcohol inks to it or anything up here to add like another level to it. There's just so many possibilities. It's great. I'm so glad that you guys have such awesome Halloween glitter. <laughs> So you just keep picking it. I guess I don't really need my glove anymore. But before I do like the quick coat and everything like that to it, I still have to seal the bottom of this one. But remember, <laughs> you should probably fill it last. Don't spray paint it with it filled because otherwise it, uh, it leaks with your spray paint. And as far as like epoxy, I only, with these ones that I spray paint, I only do one coat of epoxy on the inside and then I will probably do about two to three on the outside. We'll see. But these things get really heavy then, so you gotta watch that too. Especially like shipping and things like that, because you don't want it to bust in the mail, because that would be awful. So make sure you pack them up really good if you're shipping them out. Um, I believe that they still have the one size on sale at Stainless Steel Depot. I think it's like the 18 ounce or something um, that was like marked down to four something. I don't know. But I like the other ones because the closeout one, it has the flip lid, and I really hate the flip lid because it touches your nose. And I just, it's bothersome to have coffee on the tip of my nose. The only other thing that you need to know about these storyboards is they do not hold heat and cold as well as the double walled. They will sweat. It's okay. It's not going to affect anything. Um, it just, it, it condensates because if you fill it with ice and cold, it has nowhere else to go with it. It's not double walled. Well, it's double walled with plastic and steel, but you get the point. Mommy, I want to pick this spider, and then I'm gonna get off of here. Oh, that's awesome, Blaze! <laughs> Blaze found her kitty cat and her pie pad. Not an iPad. It's a pie pad. And if anybody has any questions or needs to see this again, I don't have a problem doing another live or I have a couple different um, things on my YouTube channel too, as far as troubleshooting these lovelies, because like I said, I've had to fix quite a few and I have still more that I need to find the time and determination to get them finished. But uh, that's another day. I really like how these turn out. I'm going to probably do this one with the wood grain thing too. All you do to do the wood grain is you just paint it white like this. And before you take the decals off, you do your regular wood grain. Use your Dollar Tree makeup brushes. It makes it better. And so you'll be able to see the spiders floating around in there. Um, I really kind of like it. I, I might add like a little like darkness up here and maybe at the bottom. I don't know. We'll see with like alcohol inks or maybe micas. We'll see. But thank you so much. Sorry it was kind of a lengthy thing, but and that I got kicked off. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you so much. Have a good night, guys.